Most businesses cost $3,000 to start according to the SBA, but I'm gonna be showing you a step-by-step -step blueprint for a bootstrapped business idea that costs nothing. And bootstrapping means starting a business with whatever resources that you have available to you right now. Now, before I tell you the business plan, let me explain why this is poised to do well right now. As a result of the current economy we're in, a lot of people are simplifying and downsizing their lives. And this produces a lot of junk. But the beauty of this business is that what a lot of people call junk isn't actually worthless. Junk collectors get paid for hauling away stuff that people don't want. On average, $225 per load. This could be anything from furniture to yard debris or construction material. However, that junk is then broken into at least three categories. The first category is items with value that can be resold. This could be anything from antiques to couches that could be worth $50 to $100 or more. A lot of people don't see the value in going through the process of selling something and they would rather just get rid of it. The next category is items with scrap value. Now this typically is going to come from construction debris where you can find things like used Romex. So scrappers will set this Romex aside and many will even strip that wire down to the copper that way they can get even more money for the scrap metal. And finally there's the actual junk. Maybe it's busted up two by fours or a 30 year old couch. There's inevitably going to be some items that have no value. This is where scrappers will identify what items can then be recycled and then they will bring the rest to the dump. So that's how the junk removal business works. The beauty is that you have multiple income streams built into the same business idea. Now I'm going to show you how you can bootstrap this business with multiple different options. Now a lot of people think that you need to have your own truck in order to do the junk removal business. While that will be essential at some point, you don't necessarily need one right out of the gate. What you could simply do is advertise a junk removal service in your area and we're going to talk about marketing methods later on and then based on the calls you're getting, you would do one of three things. The first option would be to fold the seats down in your car and then haul the junk yourself. If these are small jobs, you can use your personal vehicle and then stash that junk at your house until you have a dump load and then bring it to the dump. However, if you get a bigger junk removal job, what you could do is sub it out to a local junk removal company or simply rent a truck to use for the day. If you go the route of subcontracting the work, you can do this in a really easy manner. All you have to do is talk to local junk removers in your area. Tell them that you're leveraging social media and other marketing efforts to get leads for junk removal. Then you can negotiate a deal with them where you either earn a commission off of the jobs that they do, or they may just pay you a dollar amount per lead that you give them. You do have the option of renting a truck to get the job done. One of the best options you have is renting a truck at Home Depot. And most of these start off at $19 for the first 75 minutes. So if you had a really short trip in your area and you could knock it out, you could get this done extremely cheap. But if you are going to do a truck rental, your best bet would be to line up multiple junk removal jobs in one given day, rent the truck for the whole day, and then knock out all of those jobs. If you rented an F-250 flatbed from Home Depot, for example, the base rate there is $129 per day. Well, let's say you then lined up four jobs in your area at the average cost of $225 per haul. Without factoring in any scrap or resale value from what you're collecting, just from the money in your pocket, you'd be looking at $900 in revenue from those four jobs. Now you may have one or possibly even two trips to the landfill collecting all of that junk, but those cost $50 each on average if you do the dumping yourself. So even if you spent $100 on dump fees, $129 on the truck rental and $50 on gas, you'd still be looking at $621 in potential profit renting a truck for junk removal. And again, that is not counting any scrap value or resale value of the items. The key to this business is to start small and then reinvest over time. And then that could enable you to buy the truck that enables you to increase your profit margins, making more money 
and growing the business. Now, there are two more important factors to consider, which are marketing and insurance. So let's briefly touch on those now. In order to have steady leads coming in, you're gonna wanna reinvest some of your profits into marketing efforts. However, this could be as little as 50 or $100 a month spent on local targeted social media ads. Facebook is a great option for this as you can reach people right in your local area, but another solid option is the Neighbor app. This is basically a neighborhood recommendation platform, so it's a spot where people are looking for local contractors and things like that, and you can set a daily budget of just a few dollars if you wanted to. If $100 of ad spend got you four customers and you did the exact same thing we talked about earlier, making a $600 profit, well, you just got a 6x return on your ad spend. But you shouldn't just rely on paid marketing. A lot of people will do handwritten junk removal signs. I've seen them around my hometown, so you really don't need anything flashy, but I definitely encourage you to leverage that too. Lastly, let's talk about the insurance side of the business. Well, believe it or not, you can get an insurance policy specifically for this type of business, and it's relatively inexpensive. For example, Next Insurance offers instant quotes for debris removal insurance. And this is reported to be as little as 40 to $50 per month, depending on your coverage limits. At the end of the day, there's numerous businesses out there that you can bootstrap using what you have in front of you, meaning that there's no reason that it has to cost $3,000 to start a business today. While the junk removal business is one of the best $0 businesses out there, there's many others. So if you wanna see more videos like this on $0 business ideas, make sure you leave me a comment down below, but also subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss future videos. Be sure to grab a copy of my book from Side hustle to main hustle to millionaire over on Amazon. You can also get a copy in person at Barnes and Noble, or it's on Audible and available at many libraries across the United States. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.